Evening guys, uh, Saturday evening here. I uh, just wanted to do a, a very small stash update. I uh, only have two kits uh, this month. Uh, I've been curbing my buying uh, so far this year. Uh, just being fairly selective over what I'm buying. So uh, just because again I just don't have the space anymore to buy <clears throat> like I was buying before. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention first, I should have my bench should be here uh, middle late this week. So if everything goes good and everything goes okay, I will hopefully at the very least be set up to start building by uh, this time next week. Uh, still haven't found my bins with my tools and my paints and stuff in there but I'm still going through quite a lot of stuff yet so uh, there's still some hope that I still have it um, but anyways we'll carry on oops first kit I have this uh, Meng 1 9th scale this is the BMW race bike um, looks like a very very nice kit very detailed uh, fairly fairly large box so there's a lot of parts uh, I have the uh, Meng Kawasaki as well also in one night uh, but I haven't built that one either so I can't say what they're like to build but just looking at the kit it looks quite nice so I expect that it'll be that it'll be a nice build uh, the other one I got is this this is an HO scale uh, cafe truck stop. Uh, even when I was living at my house, I wanted to uh, get into some HO scale stuff. Uh, now that my space is reduced, uh, even more so. So this is quite small. It's um, builds out to be seven inches by ten inches, so it's, it's very small. Uh, you can see even the package is quite small but it's quite detailed it has some uh, plastic uh, some white metal uh, laser cut wood laser etched wood uh, I've watched these being built online um, and they look really really nice they look really very realistic actually unfortunately they are not very cheap as you can see here Eighty-four ninety-five. That's U.S. dollars. So by the time I got it shipped here, it cost me a bit over a hundred bucks just for this one little thing. Uh, but like I said, I saw them online, so I really wanted to give one a try. Um, I do have some other HO scale stuff, uh, tracks, trains, stuff like this. So um, I'd like to get into building some of these small dioramas and incorporating some trains and stuff all static uh, I'm not interested in having like a train room or nothing like that well I don't have space for it anyways uh, but yeah for a hundred and something bucks you do get a free HO scale chainsaw bulletin board that they just throw in the box so there you go that makes it all worth it <laughs> so uh, anyways guys that's it for this month uh, just those two small kits um, yeah, and if you're interested in these or having a look, they have some really cool stuff. Uh, here's the web address, Foss Models. Uh, like I said, it's in the U.S., uh, Connecticut, I think it was. Uh, I think that's where it came from. And uh, they also have a, a YouTube channel as well. So, uh, anyways, guys, that's it. Enough rambling. Uh, hope you're having a good weekend, and... Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully next week we'll be back to building. Have a good one.